What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I am delivering a Peugeot 187, a blue one I bought from BCA Auction. I think it's been 24 hours now. I think it's been 24 hours now since I got the car. I got the car back, the car was already clean, don't really need to do anything to it. And just put some tire shine on it, listed it up for sale. I've had a lot of interest in that car. So someone has left a deposit on the car and I'm delivering the car to them today. So you'll come along with me. All right, guys, this is a quick walk around of the car that's sold. As you can see, the wing is a bit of a different color to the door. Got this car from BCA. Bought it 24 hours ago and the car is being delivered today, as you can see. It's a right little car, really, apart from the little scuffs. All of that was in the in the photographs, anyway. And description: pretty clean rear seats. Pretty clean car. So yeah, literally. Just got the car, it's already sold, which is great. And someone's coming later on to see the Seat. All right, guys, I'm currently in the car driving. Cheers. On my way, it's about an hour and 40 minute drive. As you can see, my girlfriend's car's behind me. As a lot of you ask me how I collect cars, um, me and my girlfriend, we do it together. Because I've had a, I've had a, a baby. She's on maternity leave, so she can help me collect cars, basically. So me and her collect cars together, and yeah, that's and, I, and, that, and that's how I do it, guys. And um, also, a lot of people also ask me where do I list my cars for sale. I list my cars for sale on Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree and also auto trade occasionally if i feel like the car is good enough as in um bodywork wise to go on auto trader so that's where i list my cars but my most of my sales come from facebook marketplace and gumtree later on someone's coming to see the black ci beefer so we'll see if that car sells anyways it's got two bars of petrol in here, so I don't know if that's gonna make it. It's 38 miles, so it might make it to, to, to where we're going at the moment. But yeah, I'll see you guys once I arrive. All right, guys, we just delivered the car. It was too much to film, we just at a petrol station. Um, so I delivered the Peugeot 107 yesterday. Delivered that car today, it's about the high end eye. The person didn't come to see the the person didn't come to see the see it IB for yesterday. Today guys I'm taking the blue Hyundai 20 to the steering specialist so he can tell me what the problem is as my mechanic didn't really know so he, he referred me to he referred me to that guy. So once I know what the problem is I'll decide whether I'm gonna send the car back through auction or if I'm going to fix it and sell it. So I'll see you guys once I'm back at my unit. Mine is busy today, a lot of traffic. So YouTube, I've just arrived at my unit, about to go inside and go and get the car. And we're gonna go to the steering specialist so they can tell me what is the issue with that car so I can get that car gone because it's been sat there for a while now and uh, I can't afford to have money just sitting in the car wasted so yeah let's get going if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen the high end i20 I'm talking about here is the high end i20 it's got knocking in the steering So I've changed the tire, but look at the play. Do you see the play? I 
there's a lot of clay in So if you guys are new to the channel, that is what the issue is with the high end eye. So I'm gonna see how much it is to fix it. And also it makes a lot of clunk noises. So if you heard that, you can hear my key right now, but if you can hear that. A lot of clunking guys, a lot of clunking. So I'm on my way to the steering specialist. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Ugh. So if, if, if it's gonna cost too much to fix it and it's gonna take away a lot of the profit, I'm just gonna send this car back through the auction. I mean, apart from like the car drives fine, it's a good car, so. All right guys, so I've just, arrived at western power steering so i'm about to go inside now so i'll let you so i'm about to go inside now so i'll let you guys know what he says about the steering yeah so guys just getting me the pricing he says that yeah the steering rack is knackered basically yeah as you guys saw earlier what i was showing you that there was a lot of play in um i forgot what it's called but yeah it says the steering rack's knackered basically so um i'll wait on my options and see what I'm gonna do depending on how much it costs. I also asked him about the clunking noise when I break at low speed and he says yeah um, that also causes it as well. So the steering rack is 250 pounds and so 250 pounds for the steering rack and also obviously labour I need the contact when we can what the labour is gonna be so I'll contact him first to see how much the labour is. If, it, if it's too much, then I'm just going to send the car back through auction and sort of just break even, really. So I'll let you guys know what's going on with this car. So I'm going to go back to my unit now. So I might as well just end the video there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, get me to a thousand subscribers. And yeah, guys, so I'll let you guys know in the next video what I decide to do with this car.